Hey, how you doing? Here I am in Cotivando, Vive Cotivando, and they have so many wonderful fruit tree varieties here. And a lot of wonderful, delicious yum yums in abundance to be had and grown. And I am excited to be able to get some fruit trees finally. It's been about five years and it's been just getting things slowly, but today I'm thankful for the person who continues to give me donations to be able to get fruit trees and things for my farm. And today we got we got a whole mother load of trees. And over there I got more in the in the in the container. But yeah, I will let you know what I have here. But this is a great place if you want um, exotic fruit trees. It's in Ponce. And so, you know, they, they have so many varieties, so many wonderful things. And they share the same vision as I do that we should, you know, cultivate abundance in Borinquen. And that should be the journey. So come down to Ponce and get yourself some fruit trees. Let's grow abundance and delicious yum yums. And I love it here. And the um, the owners are pretty pretty nice to come to converse with, um, practicing my Spanish. But uh, yeah, now let's go to our, our adventures. And here we are at. The next destination on our adventures and of course the easiest way to tell to find a place that you want to go to is by looking for trash in the entrance once you see all of this then you know you are in a special place you know that you have a beautiful place waiting for you because nature is the people's trash can and it's a shame to see this mentality and this whole road is pretty much just dirty and i think we have to wake up and realize what we have so let's go on our adventure mm -hmm. and and see me falling and tumbling down this <laughs> got it recording yep awesome just get ready to to record me fully when i go down in a tumble Ah, uh, I am so happy right now that I got so many fruit trees from that nursery and now we are going to this beautiful place, but um, that nursery has over 147 vari varieties of fruit trees. You can check out their website, um, here's the link, you can check out their website on what they have and um, like I said, if anybody would like to donate, what the hell is that? What is that? Someone actually threw their sofa down the hill here. And this is what you have. This is, this is Borinquen right here. And I will talk about more about the nursery um, in another video. But um, what is this? Just, just. Like I always say, Borinquen is nothing but a landfill. Seems to many, not all. Because like that person that I met in the nursery who has that 
who's a teacher and who values and respects this island and is also tired of this. You know, look at this. People come actually down this rope to come here just to leave their trash because let me show you something. Let me show you the magic that is Boringen. That's, this is Boringen, but let me show you this magic. Ah, look at it. Look at it. Pure magic. Wow, look at the water. That's why I think many people just do not appreciate what they have because people don't know what they truly have here. In every inch of the island, everywhere you go, this is what you find. Magic. Magic awaits you in Boringen. And it's a sad thing to see that this is the magic of many. To go to a beautiful river, get drunk, and not even appreciate what is right in front of them. We have to wake up. This is, look how far I came down, all the way from up there. Just amazing. So I'm gonna go down and, and enjoy this magic that is more again. Mm. This is why, this is why I love Boringen. Boringen is so magical. Look at the fishes enjoying this magic. This is what I defend. You know, I know people will feel hurt with what I say, but seeing that trash, it is what hurts me. When you have this, look at the water, how crystal clear that thing is. I have the East River in Brooklyn, New York. Forget about it. So, I'm going in there. You can see the fishes and everything in there. Look how crystal clear. Could you imagine this being filled with garbage? That is what we are going to head into if we don't take care of all of this magic. Ah, all right, it's time to go inside. All right.
tu casa vamos a cuidar de nuestra casa vamos a dejar, dejar de dejar basura y vamos a cuidar la belleza y la magia de Borinque And here I am just in awe, flabbergasted at the beauty before me. I mean, look at this water. Look at this magic all around. And then, as always, you know I'm going to that spot right there where there's a mound of garbage on the rocks. And it's always, you know, why, why? And I know probably this trash watches up here from other spots, from the road it comes down because people throw their garbage out of their car windows. And you know, it's, it's, it's culture. That is what Many are programmed to do. Not all, but many. And this is what, this is the type of world that we create. <laughs> and I'm always ranting about trash, I know. But this issue has to be talked about more. We need to talk about it more. We need to start doing something about it. So, let's be that change and I will be cleaning that up right now because if everyone does their part we could change the world <laughs>
And here is the trash that I am hauling out from this river that was found in this vicinity and in the water because this is what awaits us if we continue. So let's go on to the next leg of our adventure. And one more look at this magic here. Beautiful magical. See that? So magic. This is Borinken, where you wake up and you have the dilemma of, damn, what magical spot do I want to explore today and visit? That should be the dilemma. All right.